Welcome to Reaction Zero. My name is Tyrell, and I'll be going over some tips, tricks, and strategies you can use to decrease frustration obtaining trophies, increase enjoyment through a knowledge of basics of the game, and decrease wasted time from survival resets due to deaths. Backup Save Files There are two game modes you can play. Exploration, with forgiving resources and infinite lives, but no trophy progress, and Survival, that has trophy progress but limited lives. Once you lose your Flames of Hope, you practically start from scratch besides the Circles of Torment collected. This can be very frustrating putting hours of time gathering resources, crafting buildings, rescuing survivors, just to have to start over again. I wish this wasn't a thing like a lot of other survival craft games finding other ways to punish the player for deaths that are less grueling. Thankfully, there is a tedious way to bypass this mechanic. If on PS4, like me, make a conscious effort to back up your save file to the cloud or any other method if Xbox or PC routinely. This way, you can revert to a previous save that will literally save hours of time. Construction of Buildings and Walls For every survivor you add to your group, you will need to craft a hut for them to stay in. There are additional buildings you can craft, but it's best to wait until you find a survivor that specializes in that field to not waste resources early on. Build palisades and gate early on to help protect against occasional corrupted that will attack your main base later on. This will help protect your survivors and assist resource management and unnecessary waste for the future. Combat Mechanics vs. Early Enemies the combat mechanics of Fade to Silence is simplistic with a roll mechanic to evade with a light and heavy attack. Against Rippers, simply use heavy attack and walk away to regain stamina and use heavy attack again. Use evade when necessary and repeat every time with all levels of Rippers. Spitters, use heavy attack until weakened and then run away and let them explode if you have enough stamina. Or you can just evade Spitters altogether to minimize damage. For Hellvines, just mash the light attack button when they charge at you from underground to eliminate them fast. How to warm up after freezing The only way to warm yourself up to decrease your freezing meter is to sleep by a fire. You can temporarily slow down the freezing effects with a torch, craft a jacket, or finding warming shards. Always keep some firewood in your inventory to light a fire to be able to sleep with some food and meds. This is because once you sleep, it will decrease your freezing meter, but also increase your hunger meter. Shards and Blessings There are four different types of shards scattered around the map that will provide permanent boost to select categories once three shards of the same group are collected. These stats will stay with your character if you choose not to back up your save and lose all flames of hope. The shards will boost stats regarding length to freeze, hunger meter, stamina, and overall health to increase your chance of survival. Successfully starting out your adventure To increase your probability of survival, there are certain items you should focus on initially. Once you start your game, focus on gathering supplies utilizing your focus button, R2 on PS4, to assist with locating items. The first items you should focus on crafting is the axe and the bow. You need the axe to cut down non-corrupted trees for starting a fire to stay warm, crafting, and resting, along with constructing buildings. You'll need the bow for hunting, this way you don't need to eat the grub root. Use the grub root to craft fibers, which then can be used to craft pouches to carry more items, jacket for warmth, and armor to reduce damage. Map Icons All the pictures will represent the major material in that area with a life bar next to it informing you how much is left in that area before pick clean. The rock icon represents mining requiring a pickaxe, Deer for hunting, red diamond with tentacles are totems that need cleansing, wood for non-corrupted tree locations, and huts for resting areas. The little white diamonds represent locations for crafting material, shards, storage, and even investigation points. Supplying survivors and your daughter. The only way to give survivors or your daughter supplies is to place items in the group refuge stash and let them fend for themselves. Make sure to place firewood in the storage for constructing buildings, but always leave one stack on hand in case you need to warm up. Always place half your food supply after cooking it in the storage to keep the survivors and daughter fed. You can place items in your refuge storage at the main hut or once in the main area through your inventory wheel. 
You can always verify survivors are eating your food in the group refuge stash by watching their stats in the inventory wheel under manage followers. Stock up early and often, you will need a lot of it to boost morale for other trophies. If you're new, enjoyed this content, or would like to see me do more Fade to Silence videos, please drop a like, comment any questions, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.